Hi everybody. It's the end of day 14. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, the night is still young on day 14. I've just come back from a day of uh, doing a little bit of monster fighting. Um, I'm now over 500 dinars because I went out into the desert at night and killed a few jackalmen. Um, also, I picked up a scorpion tail, which I'll want to remember to sell to Haddock tomorrow. But yeah, it's the end, uh, and the game tells me I'm getting tired. Yeah, it just hit midnight on day 14, so now's a good time to go to the sleep room over here and sleep until dawn. We awaken much refreshed. Okay, day 15 begins with a little bit of news. Shemin welcomes us and says, The Enchantress Aziza sends you this message of gratitude and requests that you visit her home tomorrow. Ooh, Aziza is inviting us to her house. That's good news. It is said that you her at the guild hall has a message for you as well. Okay. So yeah, it's day 15, our second last day in Shapir, and apparently there are things afoot. Things are going on. Let's start off with breakfast first, because it's the most important meal of the day. The Kata wish to thank you for your bravery and kindness. Please go visit Session and the jeweler in the palace of the plaza today. Okay. Thanks, Shima. So let's eat our food and get up. So we have three people, basically, who... Um, who have sent for us. Uh, Aziza asks, asked us to meet her tomorrow, and Yuhura has a message for us apparently today, I guess. Sintima for the poor, Fendi! Sintima for the poor! You know what? People have ragged on me so much in the comments about my videos for not giving this guy more Sintimas. Um, technically, I'm not burdened down now because I can carry up to 129 pounds, so I really don't need to get rid of some, some centimes, but what the heck, I'll, you know, I'll give a, a centime. Thank you, thank you, Fendi, you shame me with your kindness. In fact, you know what, I'm going to give him a couple more. Let's do this a few more times. There, that's like, what, five centimes I gave him? Okay, that should be enough. Did that affect my honor? No, my honor didn't go up at all. My honor's 92, that's pretty good, actually, that's from defeating all the elementals. It's fairly high. Okay, let's start off with Yuhura. Let's teleport to the guild hall and see what's going on here. So, Hero of Spielberg, you think you want to go practice some? I could use workout. This time the note be stuck to the door with an old sword. Tell your friend I will show him where to stick it the next time. Oh, uh -huh. Hero has a sense of humor. A rarely, manifest, a rarely manifested, but still distinct sense of humor. You read the crumpled paper with the nearly illegible scrawl and large torn spot. At nightfall tonight, go to the door at the end of Saif Darb, off Askari Darb. Obey, or you'll regret it. Well, the uh, threatening tone of the note uh, should clue you in that uh, not very nice things will happen tonight if you follow those instructions. And actually, I don't think anything happens to you if you ignore them. You can freely choose to ignore those directions and just not go to that meeting tonight, and I don't think anything will ever come of it, but... Uh, Oh well, uh, yeah, we'll go there just because it's something interesting to do, so I'll, I'll make sure to go to that place tonight. Let's see, also Sashanan, Shima's uh, second cousin or whatever he is in the Palace Plaza wants to meet us, so let's go to the Palace Plaza. We are again in your debt. Your name will be told in the tales of the Kata as long as there are Kata to tell them. We Kata tried to think of some way to say how much we were grateful. Please accept this gift of a sapphire pin. May it do you good. You take the sapphire pin and place it through your lapel. The shape of the pin stirs an old memory. You recall how you used to practice with such simple pins when first learning how to pick locks. You decide not to mention this to the honest merchant. Cool. Thanks, Sashina. My pleasure it is to serve you, Effendi. So, yeah. Now, it's kind of funny, I think I mentioned in an earlier video, we have over 500 dinars now, and 500 dinars is the asking price for that pin, but even at this point, if we had tried to buy the pin, it wouldn't, uh, the game wouldn't have let us buy it, it would have said that we can't afford it, even though we actually have more than enough money to afford it, so, anyway. That's about it, that's about it to be done on day 15 until that, uh, that secret meeting tonight after nightfall. But uh, since something special happens at Aziza's place tomorrow, I should take this opportunity to go to Aziza and um, ask her about something else. Let's knock on the door and just uh, talk to her about this meeting tomorrow. She welcomes us. 
I wish to speak with you tomorrow about Rasir. I intend to work some magic tonight to gather information about the things you will face. I will let you know at our meeting what I find out. But forgive me, I've forsaken my manners. Shame on you, Aziza. That's a first for you. Come in, sit down, and we shall share tea and talk, hero of Shapir. Okay, let's sit down and talk. Shall we share tea? Sure. As if you to ask, but it's kind of obligatory that you say yes. Okay, there is one thing that I should ask Aziza about. I forget. I honestly don't know if there's a way that you can hear this name before going to Rasir, but it's vitally important that you ask Aziza about Iblis. I-B-L-I-S. Now, again, when I first played this game, I actually had to restore back to a point where I was here at Aziza's place and start asking about Iblis to get th this information. So I don't know if there's a way you can hear that name before leaving Shapir. But uh, it's vitally important that you ask her this, because this is the only place I know of where you can get this information. If, if somebody else knows of a better, better way or like a more storyline appropriate place to get this information, let me know. But let's ask Aziza about Iblis. This is a little bit of a spoiler because we haven't been to a series, we haven't gone through that whole thing, but... So, Aziza, tell us about Iblis. Iblis once sought to rule the world and created a great city in the middle of the desert, but Suleiman ben Daud summoned all the jinn to rise against Iblis. Iblis was bound in a statue, and his mighty city was destroyed to become his tomb. Okay, there you go. And who's this Suleiman person? Suleiman ben Daud was the mightiest and wisest of the magician kings of ancient times. I wonder if these magician kings are kind of like the philosopher kings that Plato envisioned in the Republic. I don't know. Anyway, that is key. Folks, remember this. Remember that name, Suleiman ben Daud, especially the first part, Suleiman. You'll need that. So, thanks for that vital little piece of information, Aziza. You're most welcome, and don't forget to say farewell instead of just standing up. Perhaps we shall share tea again sometime. Yes, we shall, tomorrow, for the last time. Okay, so I'm going to save my game. Uh, learned of Suleiman. Even if it's potentially before we should have learned of Suleiman. You know what, I just realized I've never tried to really act up in Aziza's place or done anything mean to her. So, now that I've just saved my game, let's... Uh, she welcomes us in. And she tells us the same thing, wanting to meet us tomorrow. Let's see, what happens if I try to walk back here? I'm gonna try to... I think she just kicks us out if you try to walk into her private chambers back here. It is not polite of you to go where you are not invited. If you wish to speak with me, then come sit down. Otherwise, you are free to leave. And if we try again... I will not tolerate such rudeness! The game tells us we are so exhausted that everything we do hurts. Better get some rest. I think that's because she just zapped us of all our stamina. She zaps us outside. I do not welcome those who are rude in my house. And the hero falls down because he's a... That was exhausting. You don't think you'd survive going through that again. It's, it's kind of like when you try to force her door open instead of knocking. Yeah, see, she stripped us of all our stamina. Also, my honor went down a little bit because... Because uh, I was rude to Aziza. Let's see. Uh, if I knock, will she let me in again? There's no response. No, but I bet if I leave this way and go back. I think she'll let me in again. No? Uh, if I cast the open spell at the door? Yeah, I, th I guess Aziza's taking it easy on us, but yeah, we died that time. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess it's time to restore my game, but there's literally nothing else to do on day 15 until nightfall. So, um... Yeah, so, you know, I'm just going to pass time in the game until then, and I'll start the next video after night has fallen on day 15. I'll see you then, folks, and we'll see just what's going on with this secret conspiracy that's leaving notes on the, on the door at the Guildhall. That'll be exciting for sure. I'll see you then, everybody. Bye for now.